Gemini 2.0 has recently arrived on Flora, the AI best tool for building creating workflows. Now we will see together first of all what Flora is, how it works and why the integration of Gemini is a good thing. So let's start by taking a look at Flora. Here we have some examples by the community. Let's just use this one for understanding how Flora works. Okay, as you can see everything is based on blocks and their connections. Here we have two textual prompts. In this one the user requested to create a description for a video. And in this one, instead, uh, the user requested to write a story. Then uh, these two blocks were linked and combined together into a single one, of course, using AI. And in the final one, this text was used for creating a video. And this is the logic behind uh, uh, Flora. However, I don't want to waste time just by showing you community examples. Let's create a new project. This is the Flora editor. And from here, we can create the new blocks, text, image or video. Uh, for this test, I'm going to pick image. Now we have to choose the image source. We can, for example, generate an image through AI, of course, and here we can can select the models next to each model as you can see there is the amount of credits required for uh, generating the image the credits amount for the free plan is 2000 as you can see from here okay however uh, let's jump back in our example in this case I'm not gonna use AI for generating the image but uh, I'm going to upload uh, one manually okay this is the image as you can see it is watermarked now I want to test this uh, tool and see if it is able to remove the watermarks I'm clicking on the plus icon and select another image block so it means that basically we can create a new image starting from the previous one and from here i'm gonna select the model in this case i'm choosing gemini 2.0 flash and it's not hard to understand why i mean it's the only free model and in majority of cases it even outperforms the other ones so about the prompt i'm going to ask to just remove the watermarks okay for security reasons uh, gemini uh, stops the request i'll rewrite uh, in another way so remove the text and boom here is the the final image as you can see uh, there are no the watermarks anymore no let's create something more based on this image i'm going to create another block image i'm asking to create some creative variants of this image i'm going to pick again gemini 2.0 in this case i want to generate uh, more than one so let's say six images let's see what it is able to generate okay and here we have the images uh, one of them for some reason is not working however let's consider just the other ones i'm gonna pick just one of these and i'm gonna create a video starting by this in this case about the video models i'm gonna choose client pro 1.6 is really expensive it will uh, consume uh, more than 600 credits okay let's simply create it okay the video generation has been completed this is the result in this other example instead i created a description of a watch using ai and then based on this description I generated an image now I want to emphasize how powerful it is to have Gemini 2.0 here for free because uh, now I'd like to create some variants of this image for example the side view okay based on this watch image and I'd like to create many of them I can do the exact same operations even through the Gemini dashboard however having Gemini here for free is insanely powerful so in this case I'm choosing Gemini 2.0 flash and uh, I'm going to ask to create the side view of the watch and I'm gonna generate four of them okay I like very much this image for example so I'm gonna select it and create a new image block starting from this. In this case, I want to create some colorful variants and uh, I'm gonna choose to generate uh, maybe five. Okay, let's go. Okay, this one is very cool. Let's see if the other are able to generate. Okay, it seems that uh, these two were the only two able to, to be generated. Okay, let's now pick this one to generate a video. Mm, actually, <laughs> it is not so good. However, we are able to uh, do other tests if we want. Let's just imagine how difficult it would be to do the same operation we did here uh, when we created the variants using Gemini but if we use the uh, the Gemini dashboard yeah it is totally a different thing as you've seen the platform are still some bugs sometimes it is not able to generate the images uh, other times there are uh, some small glitches uh, when creating new blocks I mean uh, little things it remains still uh, an interesting platform as uh, everything we did today was done for free so yeah uh, pretty interesting and you what do you think about this let us know in the comments